Mahari, I will elaborate. Also, uh, exploration. Uh, Alan is not here today, but we donated the food. And uh, you know, his wife. Zula Raisa. Roma. His wife. Cafe Aurora. Karen Raisa. These are the sponsors of the food. They, are, they donated the food today for this event. Uh, also, I would like to thank Roma. Mahari's uh, uh, beautiful wife, who is a participant of the Health Night Food Project. Um, I, I, I would like to thank the uh, Voice of Eritrea for uh, uh, making the announcement last week about this event. Also, uh, uh, Voice of America. Uh, myself and Atrap uh, did uh, an interview on this event uh, last week. I think it was Tuesday. It was the area of the Tigrinia program. Uh, also, I would like to thank the you know the the youth, the Eritrean youth, who make that this event uh, uh, happen today. And uh, I would like to give the mic to to one of the. Uh, the Hi, I'm Elin. I'm one of the organizers. Many organizers who were here early today putting it all together. So we want to give a round of applause. Thank you for. having some of our um, Eritrea and Obama supporters talk about why they support the candidate so much. Um, you know who you are in the audience, so please uh, line up. But um, I'll start. Um, about two weeks ago, uh, about eight of us girls went up to Philadelphia to, uh, to campaign for Obama. I woke up at four in the morning uh, to drive, and I don't usually do that on Saturday morning, so you know how important it was to me. Um, so we went door to door um, in Pennsylvania, uh, basically just uh, telling people why we supported him so much and why we think it's important, you know, for him to be our next president. And I'll speak for myself. Um, uh, basically, uh, living in DC, you get very cynical about politics, learning about it on the news every day. And I, even though I'm only 25, I feel a great deal of inspiration from Obama because he makes us think that things that uh, we don't think are possible can be possible. And I really believe he has the judgment um, to make things, uh, make the world be cheesy, a better place. Because all of us, I feel like all of us can have a seat at the table. Um, I think he has the for, uh, foresight to make this world more inclusive. So it's not just certain people who are important or certain people who get to be involved. We all have a seat at the table. We all have something that we can contribute. And we can all make this country a better place. So those are the reasons why I'm supporting Obama. Um, and if anyone else, I know Martha is a big supporter. I'm Martha. Um, I grew up in upstate New York, Rochester, New York. I was born and raised. And I was actually, uh, first I was a Hillary Clinton supporter. Um, and then the night before the Iowa caucus, I, I felt in my heart that I wanted Obama to win. And then he won. <laughs> And so it was very exciting. Um, the story that I have to say is that I, I went up to Columbus, Ohio to uh, volunteer and canvas for Obama. And one of the most amazing things is the diversity of his supporters, his constituents. And it was really, you know, going door to door, you really do see America. Um, you meet Americans, you talk to them, you see what their hopes and dreams are. And to see that they're all voting for Obama, or even if they're not voting for Obama, they support the work that we're doing by going door to door and you know being politically active, and the fact is, is that you know people that were I met people that had campaigned for Bobby Kennedy in '68, and then after that they decided to stop. But Obama kind of encouraged them um, and you know fired them up and you know just made them want to come back out and campaign. So they came and you know at age 72 there are people going door to door canvassing for him. So it's very inspirational and. You know, that's why I'm voting for him. He's an inspiration to me, and it's really great to see Eritrean supporting him. Thank you. My name is Kaptap. I was engaged in this kind of campaigning for the last eight years. Our first experience was with Mr. Warner when he ran for 
governorship in Virginia. And we've had extensive experience. When I see this, it just burns me out when I see our younger people get engaged in this kind of activities. This was what we were missing. Let me tell you a couple of things. A month ago, Mr. Moran called me. Uh, Congressman Jim Moran, he said, I haven't seen you for a while. How is everything? And he said he needs our help. His campaign manager sent me an email stating that he needs our help. Uh, Mr. Warner is running for the Senate. He needs our help. Uh, as this young gentleman here told us, uh, Brian Moran called me and he said he needs our help. The reason they're calling us is because they know we're very strong, we're very united, and they know that we're very relevant. We are very loyal to our uh, leaders. Now, let me tell you something. We have access to some congressmen without making appointments. Congressman Rohrabacher, any air train can go see him. Congressman Jim Moran can make an appointment, go talk to him. And we have this kind of access. So, in the future, if we want to get engaged in politics, which we have to, especially our younger generation, have to have experience through campaigns. And I'm definitely sure uh, if the younger generation now helps Mr. Uh, Moran in running for governor, I am definitely sure he will hire some people and he will consider some air trans to work for him. The same thing with, with uh, Mr. Warner. And we also have very good relationship with Senator Webb, which I worked for eight months for this campaign. And I'm registered with all these people. And I haven't seen many Eritreans. I worked for Obama in Virginia. I haven't seen any Eritrean come, and hopefully many will come now. I, have, I work for Brian Moran. I'm registered to work for his campaign, which I've been mailing, making phone calls on his behalf. And we need to get engaged. We need to expand this group. And I'm, I'm definitely sure we can expand it. So thank you very much, especially the younger generation. Uh, I'm ready to help you. I had the remarks from Brian Moran's campaign. A couple of things about today's event. Um, all the food has been donated by Airtrain owned restaurants. So let's thank, first let's thank Columbia Station. They've given us their place to use. Um, they've, they've allowed us, so Columbia Station, Mahali and Roma. Oh, I, I missed it all. Here, we brought them just for you. And secondly, we have a raffle. So if you have $5, $10, you can win either a mug, Obama's book, Dreams of My Father, a t-shirt, bumper stickers. Uh, so make sure that you come to the table. And we're going to pass out voter registration materials. Uh, one last thing. We have a special guest today. He has come all the way from Asmara and Afghanistan and D.C. His name is Jeff Shannon. He has spent a considerable part of his life in Asmara. And he is quite honestly to say how enough. So let's let's give him a warm chance I was looking for injera and I saw the flag and then I saw Obama and I saw the most beautiful Eritrean women that I've seen in many years and so I came into the restaurant <laughs> and I was very pleasantly surprised to see that there was much more than a flag there was much more than injera there was much more than a poster and beautiful ladies there was an excitement about change in America that we've been missing for many, too many years. Um, what I see, having lived in Eritrea for eight years, I was accepted 
very quickly and very deeply. When I come back to my own country after many years away, I see a very vibrant Eritrean community. And for too many years with recent administrations, I see these Eritrean communities and others seen as immigrants, as foreigners. But what we see here today is that you're Americans. And you're Americans who can vote and who can make change in America.